Welcome to another edition of the Go Knows Podcast. I am your host, Gregory McCoy. This podcast is by a fan for fans. I am not a journalist. I am not a reporter. I am not an insider. I do not work for a website. The majority of my content comes from me, in my opinion. Other information comes from the internet. Today is February 17th, 2020. I got about five different segments for this episode. And... Let's go ahead and get started. Um, first segment is entitled Florida State Beats Syracuse Improves to 21 and 4. Is a one seed possible? And once again, I'm trying to freestyle my segments, no longer writing them out just to see if I can do it. All right, so. Um, Just looking at some of the information from the Syracuse um, Florida State game. First of all, they improved to 21 and 4. Um, Is a one seed possible? I don't know, man. It depends on how deep they go in the uh, ACC tournament. But like I've said in previous, previous episodes, they... They um play defense very well. They rebound very well. They're very deep on the bench. Um, Patrick Williams, you know, he's a player. Um, you know, Syracuse gave them all they could handle, man. Even at, I mean, some of the, some of the um traditionally big time teams in this conference in basketball are down this year Syracuse North Carolina Virginia so you know this this could be the year that Florida State could make a deep run in this um in this conference so um they got Pittsburgh um Tuesday night they're 15 and 11 so yeah like i said man you got basically duke louisville and florida state because i'm looking at the uh conference looking at the uh overall looking at the conference standards and the overall standards those are basically the uh the teams at the top i'm looking at uva um, they are, unless I hate looking at this particular app cause they only show like the conference. They don't show the overall, but this conference is down, bro. And Florida state is taking advantage of that. They only got three ranked teams. Um, So, yeah, you know, I think Florida State can make a deep run unless somebody just gets on the roll. Um, And Leonard Hamilton, you got to give him credit, man. He got, um, I think I read somewhere he's got 355 wins. Now, that's nothing to sneeze at. You know, he's a tremendous coach. Um, Like I said, I would like to see them improve on their shot making. Um, In particular, their their, um, jump shots. The um the defense is there, the rebounding is there, everything is there, and just when when big games come along, they gotta step up, man. That's really it. Um, Walker stepped up, Williams stepped up to um carry them against uh, Syracuse. Um, you know that four point play for Walker was tremendous. So it's gonna take. I I think you would have to make it all the way to the ACC championship game to secure a one seed. And, um, you know, that's it. Um, So I'm very proud of this team. I hope they keep it going. And we'll see what happens. Um, So let me know what you think about that segment. We're going to move on to the next segment, which is 
entitled Marvin Jones. Uh, not celebrated enough. And this is going to be like a reoccurring segment of former Florida State players that I feel is not celebrated enough. When he played at Florida State, he was 6'2", 244 pounds, um, two-time All-American, uh, went to Florida State from 1990 to 1992, so that would be three seasons. Uh, Lombardi Award winner, Buckets Award winner, um, at that time was, you know, quote-unquote one of the best defensive players, if not the best player, to come out of Florida State. Tremendous tackler, you know, fundamentally sound, um, got drafted number four overall by the New York Jets, had a 10-year career, uh, had over a 1,000 tackles, um, nothing to sneeze at. Um, I wish he would have stayed for his senior year so he could have been a part of that um, national championship team because they won the national championship the um, following year. But he decided to forego his senior year and go pro. Um, he made first team all pro in the NFL in 2000, 135 tackles. Um, he played in 142. NFL games starting 129 of them I mean he had a good career I, it's not a Hall of Fame career but he had a good career man um, I'm just trying to look up some more information here on the internet um, he's from Miami he went to the famous Miami Northwestern High School and how Florida State went in there and got him over the Hurricanes. I, you know, Hurricanes were rolling at that time. You know, 90, 91, 92. I mean, they was rolling. I don't know how we went in there and got him. <laughs> uh, I would love to get him on the podcast and ask him how did, how did Florida State get him over, um, over Miami, but. Like I said, just you've never heard about Marvin Jones being in any trouble. You've never heard really anything negative about Marvin Jones ever. And he's just, you know, when something happens at Florida State, you got people from other schools and former coaches that come out and, you know, say what they say. But the players that never get any, you never get in any trouble, trouble, and never cause any problems, you never hear about. And I just. You know, I'm going to, on this podcast, I'm going to recognize him for being, you know, positive, um, positive uh, players for Florida State. And um, like I said, this is just another guy that was a great player that is not universally celebrated by Florida State and pushed out there to be an ambassador for this program. And, you know, just further um expose the brand because you can say it's a iconic brand but it's it's taking a shot the last several years so putting like a Ward Dunn or Marvin Jones or Derek Brooks out there to talk about the program would be great um so you know once again one of my all-time favorite players at Florida State um uh Maybe he'll get into the NFL Hall of Fame one day. I don't know. Um, so that's going to conclude that segment. I'm going to move on to the next segment, which is entitled Watching a Football Game via Stream or Cable. Which one is better? Um, stream is, you're always going to be behind in the game. So there's two ways you can. Look at that. If your team is dominating and your the game is lagging, it's you you might you might be happy, you might be sad cuz you not you're not seeing everything that you need to see. If your team is losing, right? And the game is lagging and you got friends and uh and family members, you know, messing with you cuz your team is getting 
beat and they're seeing the game ahead of you, then, you know, at least I, at least I would be mad. So that's the streaming is cheaper than cable, you know, cable. Okay. You get to see the game up to date, but you know, everything is channeled through the four letter network. Now, very rarely does Florida state games come on regular TV. Now, I mean, even back in the day, the, um, when they played at Florida, that would at least come on CBS. Um, that doesn't even come on CBS no more. That comes on, on the four letter network. So, um, I don't know, man. I'm, I stream, so I don't even use um, cable no more. I just have the internet through the um, cable company so I can stream. I think millions of people do that now, um, with the especially with the evolution of the uh, Fire Stick. Until cable decide they want to come down on the prices, man. I think I seen something, 100 channels for, what was it, $49.99? That's crazy. And I can get, I can get almost quadruple. I mean, I don't know what's after quadruple. But I can get way more channels for way less money streaming. So it's a, it's an easy decision. Right? I got to watch virtually every Florida State football game last year. Okay? For pennies on the dollar. Pennies. Versus paying $150 for cable. Right? So it's a no-brainer. Um, which one do you like? Which one do you have? Which one do you prefer? Which one do you think is better? Let me know in the comments. Um, all right. Next topic. That concludes that segment. Moving on to the next segment. The Fast and Furious franchise. Is it time to stop? I believe it is, man. It's getting stale. Nine movies. The first one was was epic. All right. Then the next couple um, with Tyrese and um, your boy. I forget his name. Um, the guy who got who died in the car accident. Um, I like that one. I didn't like the one with Bow Wow. Um, you know, then when The Rock came on and those were kind of good. And uh, Charlie Theron, she's been a great addition. But now you got John Cena. Come on, man. He's not a good actor. I'm sorry. He's not a good wrestler. He he has literally been forced on us. <laughs> this guy has literally been forced on us, man. He is not a good wrestler. All right. And there's a million guys that I can think of that would have played that role a lot better than him. And I ain't even seen the movie yet. But I know John Cena sucks as an actor. I didn't like him in Bumblebee. All right. Um, but. These movies probably make money worldwide. Um, they probably make a lot of money worldwide. But, you know, Vin Diesel, I like him. He's one of my favorite actors. Um, I liked him in um, the uh, the joint where he was like, he had on the, uh, I can't think of the movie. He had on the dark goggles and um, it was like dark something. You know, uh, then it was another one. If it, I think it was the same franchise, same series where he was, uh, some aliens tried to convert him to their, uh, race or whatever, and he beat them and all that. I love that movie. So, but Fast and the Furious, man, come on. It's time to stop. All right, and that's going to conclude this episode. All right, it's available on YouTube. It's available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts. If you're listening to this on YouTube, please scroll down to the description, rate, review, subscribe. I love the uh, loyal listeners that listen every day. I really appreciate it. Can't thank you enough. 
please rate review subscribe and as always go nose